Hello again, friends. Welcome to Bamboo Land. It's a late night chicken time. Can you hear the chickens calling to each other through the forest? They do this sometimes at night. Where should the third clump go? Maybe there should be more than three clumps. Let's look at what we have. What do we have and what can we do? empty places and I think what if I put a clump there? What if I put a clump there? How would it look? Balance. Looking for balance. You can create balance along many axes. So like say you have something big here, you could have something little here. That's one way to do it. But where and how little I have to think about those possibilities. It doesn't just really come to me naturally. I could try to put another stock here. Maybe that's what I'll do. Another thing that helps portraits seem true to life is a little bit of chaos. If something is a little bit too symmetrical, it might look mm, stylized. But here, with these broken brush strokes, these set kind of messy areas, we're already going for something that's less stylized and a little bit more chaotic. 
I like to think of it as the, the forest bamboo. And so if I wanted to create a sense of unity for this, let's call it forest bamboo, um, I should continue with this kind of loose style that's also I would say, I don't know, more naturalistic than uh, more naturalistic than stylized. Sorry. Whew. I'm going up the ladder. <laughs> There's something here. Kind of starting to see it more. One way that I think of this type of art is as a, a silhouette. You've kind of created a, I don't know, almost like a, like a shadow on your white paper. It's an interesting way to think about it. For me. Okay, I'm gonna turn it this way and think about where the next bits should go in the forest bamboo. Maybe it's fine, maybe it's just done. Pew, pew. Put some up, up bits here. Call it, call it then. Down, see down, that's there. It's done. Yeah. Add some bare branches. One thing I learned from doing plum blossoms, which I learned how to do before bamboo, is, um, Something that really helps increase the overall how how nice the picture seems seems to work well with audiences is what I mean is adding a few little details at the end so you kind of define your general shapes first then add a little like details here and there to kind of give it more depth. Um, some people add all the details as they go. It's different strategies. Some people draw the leaves first and then the branches. It really, you know, and it varies based on what you're painting, right? So we're going to call this one complete. Ta-da! And I think I'm going to stop it there for now. I'm going to start a video with a new painting. Thank you. Till next